for the first time india is going to be launching a commercial satellite in the 21st century through an american company india is launching a communication satellite with spacex on falcon 9 i have with me mr radha krishnan d he is the chairman and managing director of new space india limited a part of the department of space as a public sector undertaking and also a specialist on rockets and satellites uh, thanks a lot for speaking to me sir krishnan thank you uh, very much what is special and why did we go to uh, spacex for launching this particular satellite okay as we mentioned uh, the gsat 20 which we are naming as a gsat n2 which is the second dedicated uh, demand driven satellite mission of new space india limited is primarily a high throughput satellite so if you look at the application area of this particular satellite gsat n2 it's uh, primarily meant for meeting the broadband communication needs of the country and uh, in terms of the capacity it's quite a huge you know the isro has earlier built high throughput satellites but it had a limited capacity the current satellite gsat n2 Uh, which is being uh, owned and operated by NSIL, which is uh, which, New Space India, which is New Space India Limited, which is the commercial arm of Indian Space Research Organisation. And as you may be aware, post space sector reforms, we have been mandated to own and operate the communication satellites also. So this is an investment where we are investing entirely into building the satellite, launching it, maintaining it over the entire period of 14 years of life. So this satellite is primarily meant for meeting the broadband communication needs like i just mentioned it will in addition to indian uh, island it will also meet the islands nearby which is andaman nicobar and lakshadweep why are we launching on uh, falcon 9 yeah. so if you look at the overall launch mass of this particular satellite it's around 4700 kilograms and the current capability of the heaviest isro launcher which is lvm3 it's around 4.2 tons in gto i am talking about uh, not the overall capability but just in terms transfer orbit this satellite is primarily designed uh, with a or, orbiting life of almost 14 years plus so that the investment that the company puts into this particular program we have enough return on investment that is being done so when i look at 14 years life of this particular satellite we ended up with a mass of around 4700 kg and the current capability of lvm3 is uh, limiting us from not able to be launched on lvm3 maybe the future upgrades of lvm3 will be able to launch such heavy satellite this was primarily the reason we chose uh, spacex which is a company uh, in us for launching uh, gsat n2 satellite so this will be the first launch on uh, falcon 9 and is it a dedicated launch yes i think i would say in the last uh, 20 years if i look back in the first launch uh, of a heavier communication satellite of this magnitude on a on a us launcher and this is purely a dedicated launch as i mentioned i think the entire funding in the for the mission we are doing it from the new space india limited and once the satellite is launched into space currently we have um, 11 communication in orbit satellites 10 which were given by department of space to isro uh, to nsil and the first demand driven mission was gsat 24 which is named as gsat n1 we launched in 2023 and, and this is a satellite which will be the second in the series and once this is up in space we'll be owning and operating almost 12 communication satellites in orbit a dozen would be done did you get a good deal with spacex because spacex is known for doing commercial launches literally on a daily basis yeah. so did isro and india get a good deal from elon musk company he is a hard negotiator I would say, as far as the the commercial launch price for uh, launching this particular satellite is concerned, we are very, uh, I would say, very convinced about the technical compatibility and also the commercial deals. So I would say it was a good commercial deal for us for launching such a heavy satellite on SpaceX, which is the Falcon 9. And yeah. are we ensuring the satellite and the launch? Yes, I think we are the as far as the satellite is concerned. This side 20 satellite is being fully realized by ISRO. We have completed the pre-shipment review. Satellite is ready for shipment. Uh, we are awaiting the shipment of the satellite very shortly and uh, maybe in couple of months from now i think we can expect the launch of this particular satellite taking up from cape canaveral which is in florida and once the satellite is injected in a month's time we should be able to complete the orbit raising operations commissioning and start the commencement of services to our users also and the, the services would also include giving in flight uh, uh, internet to 
Indian airplanes and foreign airplanes because there is some capacity reserved for that. Exactly. So if you look at, as I mentioned, the satellite primarily being for broadband application, a lot of VSAT operators will be using these services, not only for uh, broadband connectivity, but this satellite with uh, 32 spot beams, which covers the entire landmass and the islands, it will be a good candidate for providing in-flight, not only in-flight uh, aviation services, also the maritime services in the future, I think. Maybe. That's what we are looking at it. And we see a quite a good market potential for this kind of satellite because as I mentioned, such a heavier satellite with this much of a throughput, this is the first time we are making such a high throughput satellite of this magnitude. So I'm very confident and optimistic that we should be able to make the best use of the services that the satellite is going to provide to us. I look forward to a good launch. Thank you for speaking to me, Radhakrishnan D. And Falcon 9 is a very reliable locket and I hope the a launch goes off successfully and India's big bird with high throughput services is placed in a good orbit. Thanks a lot for speaking. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for all your best wishes. We also pray that we have a good launch and uh, good revenue for the company as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that was Radha Krishnan D, Chairman Come Managing Director of New Space India Limited telling us that the first launch with SpaceX Falcon 9 by an ISRO-made satellite should go off well. Falcon 9 is a reliable rocket and the ISRO satellites are also reliable. So two partners coming together for a commercial deal. A fascinating launch coming up. Pallav Bagla for NDTV.